Alright, what's up guys? We're live on YouTube. What's up guys? Uh, I'm gonna post these links. Uh, Inception Miners. Alright. Let's post this. Oops. Wait a minute. Oops. Trying to get me to tag people, sorry. Not tag, it's uh, tagging businesses that I don't even know <laughs> if I put mixer. Sound mixer company. Free tag for you, man. Whoever that is. Alright, let me uh, just share this all around. Let's get people kind of rolled in here. We'll uh, start to break it about a couple minutes. We'll get people rolled in here. It's been a little uh, slow with the economy and everything going on with... Uh, we don't even know when sports come back right now. Baseball. I'm going to have maybe a, a live video. We'll do something. I'm going to uh, do something uh, for contact-wise. Still working on everything coming up. So I don't want to disclose too much information of what stuff I'm going to do. I want a lot of it to be a surprise. So it's going to be kind of hush-hush on the stuff coming up. Um, plans that I'm working on right now. So um, I want to kind of get everything in place before I start talking about what I'm doing. So, um, But yeah, there's. A, I'll have. A, I want to kind of cover uh, or even have some good talks. On uh, our things, we'll talk about uh, sports. Everything is going on. We have uh, a lot of things going on right now. So, uh, some more information next week. We have Bowman and uh, what do you call it? Uh, Selects baseball. I think uh, I gotta check Panini releases as well. Um, let's kind of get everything pulled up. Uh, let me check Panini real quick. See if there's any other sports coming out next week. Just gonna get this uh, people pulled in real quick. Let's look real quick. I have not heard from my rep yet. I sent him an email on Monday, so I'll get from more information coming out. Um, what do you call it? The next uh, couple days. So, uh, but there will be some announcements coming. I'll let you guys know. Kind of cool, some cool stuff going on. So, uh, let me just. Uh, what's the date today? Today is the 16th. So we got Bowman coming out next week. Let's kind of give you guys a quick uh, mosaic uh, is coming out. I guess they're doing a another thing with that. Uh, Bundas. Bundesliga is back. Um, pretty cool. So it's select baseball Bowman next week. Uh, I'm trying to see what else. Mosaic is supposed to drop on the 20th. I guess that's a hobby version of it. Let's see if we can get some of that. But it's pretty much what's coming out in the uh, meantime. Getting everyone uh, pulled in here in a second. Let's kind of let's check. Let's see. It's a hobby too. Mosaic right now. Um, yeah. So I'll try to at least get a, uh, a box or something of, uh, let's, we'll see the price point. So I just saw the retail mosaic go through the roof. So um, after that, it's North basketball on the 27th and then tier one baseball on the 29th and uh, contenders draft picks football for uh, football. So that's it. Uh, I football basketball already up. I got tons of that stuff up. Uh, really not too much baseball coming out over the next uh, month. I'm just looking at pro debuts on the 19th of June. So. That's actually the next after uh, tier one. Just kind of give give you guys the heads up. Score football on the fifth. So let's get you guys uh, back in the uh, saddle of everything. Pull this up. What's up, guys? We're gonna do run our uh, mini real quick. Oh, let me just uh, pull it up. Um, I'm gonna have more of a. I think I'm gonna pre-record everything. That way I can do a uh, a cool like maybe 15 minutes uh, each week or maybe even half an hour if we get a good uh, discussion or cool uh, skits and stuff like that. So. It's kind of the plans coming forward a little bit different than just sitting here and talking because not a lot of people will uh, get that unless we start getting some people in. So, yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, we'll do that. Like I said, uh, we're getting ready for our uh, mixer random uh, of the mini right now. Uh, we uh, go in order below as always, as you guys know, um, on the sign up uh, matched. So I only do one random. Um, we have the uh, Diamondbacks, uh, Braves, Red Sox, Rockies, Dodgers, Rangers, and Nationals in this one. We're going to make sure everything's pulled up all right, looking all right. Uh, I'm going to have some divisionals tomorrow, some on um, DSC. I have a couple divisionals up on NSCC right now, so um, everything is filling right now. Like I said, uh, everything's going to be kind of slower. I don't even know how Bowman's going to really go. We'll see. Um, I just got the thing saying, uh, you know, the economy, like uh, retail's down about 50% right now, so at least so uh yeah i'm kind of we'll see how the new releases go uh all that so 
I'm going to do them regardless. So I'm just a business as usual, everything uh, this year. So kind of just go with, like, uh, with all of it. Um, here's all our participants. Thank you guys for uh, filling this. We got Mark through uh, Randy. Uh, we're going to just shake this up. Top seven, as we always do. And let's see, we'll call this uh, six box inception miners uh, mini top seven. Oop, there we go. All right. We got UFC on ESPN right now. I actually have that on right now. I'm going to watch that after this. Four more times on the randoms. As always, we got nine times. Let this load for a second. Um, the next uh, two divisionals coming to DSC will be a uh, minor league divisional picker team since they go really well. I was trying to get more people to kind of get in and, uh, like I said, the cheaper breaks. We have the Ginter High Tech. It's already broken down to a mini right now. I have that Prospect Mixer. I have a USA Pro Debut Mixer. Like I said, uh, I'm not really going to post too much aside from new stuff next week until this older stuff kind of goes. Uh, I'm going to do two cheap minis uh, coming up tomorrow also of the uh, Tribute High Number and Series Series 1 uh, Mixer. So trying to get stuff going a little bit. Like I said, it's going to be a little slow, so... Bear with us, guys. It's uh, unprecedented times for everyone, you know. Sports, we don't even know what's going on until the players' union kind of, yeah. So <laughs> a lot of uh, a lot of question marks this year. So did you guys see? They also they're not allowing uh, spit or anything. You can't spit. You can't have uh, sunflower seeds. You can't have dip. Uh, what was the other thing? I highly doubt they're gonna let people go to the mouth, you know, for uh, pitching. So <laughs> it's gonna be uh, interesting times to say the least. So uh, let's shake this up. Let's go. Actually, let's, uh, I might have to log in. Let's see. I'm gonna, let me add some credit. Hold on. We'll do it nine times. Let me uh, just log in. Hang on, guys. My uh, thing actually expired. Let me uh, just add nine times. Sorry. This thing's a pain. Make sure I don't make you guys dizzy. I got to do it nine times. So just keep repeating it nine times. Let's right, log in real quick. I was going to. Drop a dollar in this to do our. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know I got to do that this one day. I forgot to do. Get a little excited. All right. Let's go back to that. Let's go. All right. Let's try. Let me just try to get the credit back. Yeah, yeah, let's not update my credit either. I have to do it uh, without the thing today. I don't know what's going on. Come on, random.org update. All right, cool. All right, we should be good. Update it. Sometimes it uh, cancels and I for totally spaced. Uh, let me just put the nine times again. So we run this. And let's copy this. I'll call this uh, Miners Inception Mini Top 7. Nothing changed. So make sure we're back over. Good. I didn't want to get you guys dizzy with all the... Uh, I had to log into my uh, account real quick. All right, let's copy this again and go over. Sorry, guys. Didn't realize my uh, thing, uh, uh, what do you call it? Timed out. All right, we're good. Nine times. Good luck, guys. Make sure we're all caught up. Make sure uh, you guys can see it all. I like doing the, uh, uh, what do you call it, verified. Some guys don't do verified at all, but I, I try to keep it consistent. That's the way we do stuff, so. Rather paid a dollar. A lot of guys do it for free. I've been seeing the top guys. They're still doing unverified randoms. It's crazy. Like, come on. <laughs> so I like uh, I like copying it straight from the sign up as well. I mean, uh, there's a lot of moving parts. I'm not perfect. So, um, yeah. So, all right. Top seven. We're all set. Like I said, run it, run it, run it back. What are you guys doing tonight? UFC. Like I said, if you guys are looking for something to do, UFC's on tonight. Really, not too much. I was looking at kind of the uh, what do you call it. Looks like everyone, uh, like I said, uh, Mark and Michael, like I said, I'll get you guys uh, something for uh, a couple base or uh, some rookies thrown in. Thank you, guys. Like I said, I always uh, try to hook you guys up. And we are all set. Let me get the uh, random verified ASWZ. All right. Cool. So we are all set. Let me match them up. And like I said, uh, Michael and uh, you guys, like I said, next time, I usually leave a little package for you guys next time on my table, my shipping table. So next time I have a package for you guys, you guys get something. So um, that's the way I've been doing it uh, for the last couple of years. Kind of fun way to do it. All right. We're good. And that's it. Uh, copy too many. Copy that in. We're all set. We got Trent with the D-backs. We got Kevin. 
What's up, Kevin Kev? Uh, Kevin with the uh, Braves. His Braves. There you go, man. He sniped it. We got uh, Trent with the uh, Red Sox. We got Greg with the Rockies. We got Randy with the Dodgers. We got uh, Jonathan with the uh, Rangers. And uh, Greg rounded out with the Nats. As I said, uh, let me mark it real quick. Uh, let's see. We're good. And yeah, we are good. Thank you, guys. Like I said, I always uh, put up minis. Like I said, we're going to put up our mini for our... Uh, what do you call it? These guys right here. Uh, this mini is going to go up. There's going to be two cheap minis. Uh, we also have this basketball mixer really cheap. Only $34, 28 spots. Let's kind of show you guys what we got going on this weekend and early this week. Um, that's about it. Like I said, I'm not really pushing too much. I was waiting for the new releases uh, late this month, and we're right on time with it. So I'm not really pushing too much. And then that other baseball cheap one. So we'll break those all down this next couple days. So. Um, there's still good divisionals, and then the Allen Ginter. A lot of baseball, a lot of baseball. So um, the mini is already up on Ginter, so I've been trying my darndest to get these things going. Um, like I said, it's been kind of slow with everything going on right now. So um, just bear in mind, like I said, with uh, everything going on, a lot of people are out of work right now. I really like that, Kevin. Kevin, some of you guys, like Jonathan's been on a roll, Kevin, uh, James, um, all of that. Um, so, yeah. Pretty, uh, all right. So uh, we'll get ready to go. Give you guys. We'll get this till about quarter. We'll get to sixteen after. How's that? Just to get people rolled in. Really, not much going on. Um, we got uh, football up at NSCC. Uh, we're going to be doing some cool stuff. I'm still thinking of a name. What do you think of a name for our all sports vlog? I'm trying to uh, come up with a cool all sports vlog name. You know, instead of just sitting here and just talking and talking and talking, we're going to go do some cool stuff. I requested some. Um, you know. Uh, Real quick shout outs from some people. So uh, we got some uh, COVID relief um, items coming in. Uh, we're gonna come up with some cool, uh, my nonprofit was supposed to be kind of uh, mental health, but with the COVID, COVID uh, pandemic and whatnot, I kind of want to switch over to more um, COVID relief slash uh, PPE slash other things. Um, kind of uh, champion some things going on right now. That's kind of keeping people's minds pretty good. So. It's going to be interesting with baseball and everything. We'll see. I Hopefully, the owners and players can come up with something. A lot of rules and moving parts. So, But in the meantime, like I said, we're going to have fun. i got to come up, like I said, with a cool vlog, sports kind of talk name. I kind of like uh, some of the ESPN shows that have it. Yeah, so. Hot dog stand, maybe. <laughs> hot dog. The, the hot dog stand show <laughs> something along those lines you get what i mean so if anyone has any ideas or wants to be part like i said wants to send some uh, cool if you guys are around send me some cool uh what do you call them fan videos too so that will be also part of our whole thing you know so we'll have some stuff like that or what you're doing to uh, make a difference or what you're doing to keep your sanity if you have cool you know videos of you you know i've been seeing people literally working out with toilet paper just funny you know kind of tiktok stuff and it's kind of different. We're kind of, you know, I uh, I like watching people shoot the crap and talk about stuff, but that gets kind of redundant and boring after a while. So it's trying to get some different stuff. I was thinking about even making like, uh, uh, what do you call it, almost wrestling matches on the fly. Like, you know, like the street matches they have for wrestling on uh, YouTube where, uh, you know. <laughs> so we'll figure out some cool ways to do it. Um, I have some divisionals, like I said, coming up. Like I said, baseball's kind of, we don't know what's going on with baseball right now, so. Uh, we'll have this divisional up sometime in the next couple days. We'll do a random of that. Um, I'll have a picker team of another miners box right there. Uh, really not going to push too much until the other stuff goes because um, I have uh, new releases coming out on Friday. So I'm going to wait till Monday or Tuesday once I get confirmation on everything coming in. Um, Tops is saying they're not um, giving us product until the Fridays or Monday now. So we can't get it early at all either. So a lot of new rules. I said it's weird. You can't even have uh, sunflower seeds or dip or anything. You can't uh, spit in baseball now. The rules. So it's going to be uh, something to get used to over the next uh, couple of years. Everything has uh, changed a little bit. So, uh, But yeah, we're all ready to go. You guys uh, know where I'm at. Let me uh, make sure we're all good. Uh, we are ready to rip, though. We'll give it another minute and a half. Everything is open. we got basketball. Like I said, uh, price points are a little bit tough right now. As I said, I'm just trying to make it uh, the best. Um, kind of price points as possible right now. There just isn't really um, a lot of product out right now, and everyone's kind of fighting over the same thing right now. So that's kind of what you're seeing overall. I'm just going to share this to NSCC. We get a lot of action on there as well. So don't be afraid to uh, share your stuff. Um, like I said, as long as you're, uh, like I said, you're pretty much free to post 
uh, whatever you want, as long as you're not uh, plugging another shop or something like that without permission. Like I said, all of I means uh, go for it. So, what are these new? Uh, we got some new things going on. Room activity we can do, I guess. Okay, interesting. They keep adding some stuff, so I'm learning stuff as you guys. Uh, I'm gonna start trying to do some IGTV stuff too. Instagram TV is really cool, so if we start doing some cool skits. Uh, my goal is to get a cool um, couple shows here going a year, so I, I kind of want to do a couple things. So, like I said, uh, I'll give you more information as it comes. I don't want to let the cat out of the bag, but yeah, we got some cool stuff coming up. Uh, Exception, Miners, and Six Box, PYT. Let's get some more viewers on this. Thank you guys for sharing everything, too. I really, uh, Patrick, all you guys, like I said, thank you. Big uh, shout out. Just trying to do different stuff on big wrestling, UFC, baseball, hockey, football, everything. Like I said, uh, really not much on right now. I've been watching uh, mainly wrestling and UFC for the time being because uh, there's no live baseball or anything right now. So uh, we're ready to go. You guys know who you have. Let me uh, get this all pulled up for you guys to know who you have. Not a ton of viewers tonight. Uh, like I said, it's uh, one of the busier nights for people getting together. We are uh, now open in Arizona, so be safe, guys. Uh, but you can pretty much go sit outside and have, you know, stuff. It's pretty safe, so as long as you social distance, so you can live life pretty easily right now. Um, we're good. Like I said, everyone is uh, in this. You guys know who you have. I have the list ready here, and uh, we're ready to go. Like I said, welcome, and uh, have some fun, guys, tonight. We're uh, going to see. Like I said, we'll have some uh, discussions. I'll have some cool videos coming up. I'll uh, try to maybe even do, like, a quick, uh, you know, sit down because there's really not much going on we're finding out more and more about um what do you call it the meetings and stuff like that there's just really not too too much going on that we know um it'll be till july what we got another probably uh six to seven weeks of uh, no baseball so kind of on hold right now basketball has what 17 games left and then the season so uh we'll see we'll see we'll see it's gonna be an interesting uh, couple weeks so let me grab some uh, sleeves and we're ready to go like i said Really not much going on. What's up, Kevin? What's up, guys? I uh, I just sold my Earling Holland. Ha Holland? What's his name? Holland? Um, uh, that pack. It's actually worth about $200. Some guy offered me $150 and then tried to cancel it. So eBay. Come on, guys. <laughs> uh, if he doesn't pay, I think I might post his uh, information on uh, my uh, group because how are you going to, uh, <laughs> you know, pay or uh, say you're gonna buy my thing you know how they uh how you, you know if you click send offer so what's up magic what do you guys think on that do you think i should uh say something about his uh his ebay name if he doesn't pay i just don't think that's right man <laughs> if you're gonna uh hit cl uh, what click and then hit buy and then say you want to cancel a second later like <laughs> uh what do you guys think on that just kind of a quick discussion i uh I think it's kind of a good overall thing because if someone can do that, what else are they going to do, you know? like, Because I actually, I think I get hit for the, by, by the fees by that, right? Something like that. I can't remember how it all goes. We got a Wander Franco box top. Look at that. Nice. Kind of get your guys' opinion on that. What do you guys think? As a business owner, like I said, I have a lot of uh, bailouts. Like I said, it's not a big deal because I usually have someone back me up. But that's why I stopped selling on eBay a lot because eBay is just tough. What do you guys usually do in that circumstance? Do you uh, hit him with a uh, non-pay? Because that's what I might do, so... Yeah, as long as, uh, well, the problem is he didn't give me any uh, reason. He just, like, he did it, and then that's the thing. I don't want to blow him up if there is a reason, but he didn't even give me a reason, man. Like, what is going on? Like, really? <laughs> that's the one thing. I, I, I'm usually, like I said, I have no issues. I've been having issues with people, what, three, four years that I've been in business? It's just being, you know, you have an issue, uh, DM my business page, you know? There's no issues, so. Yeah, he didn't even give me any reasoning. He just, you know, hit buy, and then, yeah, non-pay. Like, I'm just trying to kind of have a conversation as owners slash, you know, just a, a respect and just a business, you know. I just don't know how to handle. I uh, I try to be as fair as possible, but at the same time, you don't want to get raked over the coals either. I uh, I don't break without payments. Um, I see a lot of guys. Yeah, that's the one thing. He just never messaged me, man. I mean, like I said, if you get at me and be like, hey, man, I can't pay for this. Can you just open my spot? Or, hey, yeah, no problem, man. Like I said, I'm more, I'm, I'm sometimes too fair, like uh, too nice, you know, but sometimes you get taken advantage of in this hobby. You guys know I've been doing this, you guys have been doing this for years and years. So especially with a lot of monetary issues right now for a lot of people, uh, it's just, yeah, 
like I said, I have no issue. If you guys can't, like I said, if you uh, have stuff happen during this, like I said, let me know. That's why you see it kind of slower right now in the hobby world. Um, I think we're down about probably 30% overall. But, um, yeah, it's just because, uh, like I said, supply and demand, everything kind of dried up super quick and went up. But we had Brent Marsh. There you go. Uh, Pat, Patrick, there you go. Yeah, I was just like, what do I do, guys? I don't, I don't know, you know? He has a really good feedback. That's why I'm not going to blow him up on my groups. But I think... Like I said, I'll probably hit him with a uh, non-pay at least. I uh, I won't rake him through the coals unless he uh, gets a little weird. So, But yeah, that's just like, I don't know. It happened a lot when I was doing breaks on uh, Facebook or on uh, eBay. I mean, they weren't really expensive spots. I had people bailing over like $13 spots. Like, uh, yeah, it's just pretty wild. <laughs> As I said, I'm not really uh, complaining because I've never had, like, really had too much issues over the years with people. But just, uh, yeah. Communication, communication, guys, communications, I think. Uh, Drew Waters heard their brace. A couple sleepers. Check the backs on these in a second. Yeah, I uh, kind of like talking shop just in general with uh, the hobby. It's uh, It can be good. It can be bad. I, uh, For the most part, I would say it's 90% good, though. I really haven't had too many issues. If I do, you know, just remove them from the group and move on. I mean, it's all you can pretty much do if they continue to, you know, I've had guys, you know, bail and not message, and you do kind of just have to let them go after a while because it only gets worse <laughs> after a while, I, uh, from my experience. So it's better to, you know, nip it in the butt before, so before it gets to the point where they're, uh, you know, yeah. So, all right, we got uh, a couple of good bases. Like I said, it's all, uh, everything's shipping. So we'll see. Uh, as I said, that, that, pack right there is probably worth about 175 to 200 anyway so i give him a deal it was actually like 25 30 dollars less than i was asking for so he scored the first goal for uh, bundesliga so his cards are going to be going for about 100 200 pop pretty soon at least he's the biggest uh, soccer player in europe right now so i'm not trying to make a kill it's just kind of funny <laughs> i uh, i had an aaron judge rookie card autograph i was selling because i hit like uh, i bought a lot of product for myself and I hit one for myself out of a blaster box at a Target. And I sold that thing three times before I got pavement. Like, I had the guys, uh, three different uh, guys buy it. Because I was like, hey, man, I need to buy, you know, as when I first, first started getting uh, into uh, selling uh, big time. And I was like, hey, I need to kind of buy cases right now. I need to sell that one judge that I had. And uh, it was wild. I was like, whoa, man, I can't believe it took me like five times to sell one card. So, but sometimes eBay. Uh, we got a Healy. We got a uh, Royce Lewis. Uh, Cease. Uh, we have a, a Kirk, a uh, Killer Lee. We have a, a Joe and a Ornelas for the Rangers right there. Check the backs real quick. So I said it's a fun one. Patrick hit a uh, Adele Marsh duel. There's a high number Jesus Sanchez for the uh, the biscuits that goes to the race. And let's see, anything else that I missed? Nope, Joey Adele on top. Top uh, sleeve that Joey. Right, Lewis. All these guys get quick sleevers. I miss minor league baseball. So this is—is uh, is this the first year in history that we've ever had minor league baseball? Has there ever been something like that before? Another uh, Maddie's two Madrigals. I'm sure we're in uncharted territory right now. Got a shout out to uh, Videl. He uh, threw me a nice uh, ball that I got signed by uh, Mr. Lewis. So, all right, we'll top load this uh, Sanchez just because it's a high number. Cool looking card. I haven't seen this one yet out of the set. Open a bunch of that. There's a new one right there. That's a good race. All right. Get the sleeve pile already. But yeah, I, uh, I kind of stopped doing uh, eBay breaks for a little bit just because I don't have that much product either. Because uh, I probably have about a couple, probably about three, four cases of product here. Just kind of, I kind of want to hold for a little bit just to kind of do mega mixers when we uh, get baseball back. Instead of doing the same stuff over and over. So I've been kind of just tucking stuff as we go. Um, what else do we got coming in? Um, I have Revolution Basketball kind of coming in. We'll pick at that. Um, Optic and everything is super expensive right now. We have Mosaic. I don't know how much I'll get of that. So here comes our game used. It's always in the second row. We'll get right to that. Here we go. We get Debbie Garcia. Debbie's selling pretty well right now. We got uh, Jason Dominguez cards coming out right now. I'm going to have some Leaf Flash in between the, uh, what do you call it, Bowman uh, dry out. Because that's going to dry out super quick. We got a, uh, Eric for the uh, Jays and a Dylan Cease for the uh, White Sox. There you go. Nice little White Sox hit. Dylan Cease, top up prospect for the uh, White Sox. There you go. Like Dylan, he uh, started last year. He was on my fantasy team for a little bit. Shout out to Dylan. Call you guys out in one second, getting this all together. We got a Trenton Thunder, uh, as I said. 
Shred Thunder. I got a hat on right now. Matches. Gross. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Steven, right? Steven got the Yankees. I'll uh, call you guys out in a second. Just kind of going through this, how we do with minors. Have some fun and show off all the, the next uh, rack of guys. I can't wait. Pro Debut's coming out mid, uh, mid month next month. So we'll have a bunch of that as always. At, for whatever reason, it's now getting uh, limited. I know for why. I mean, obviously it's a, because uh, uh, Bowman is starting to get uh, dried up. There you go. A nice Julio. Top load that guy. Uh, we got Alex Krilloff as well. Uh, we got a Chris uh, K. Rob. K. Rob. Oh, we got a flip. Here's a flip. Uh, is it our autograph? 150. Let's see. Our flip card is, and it's a uh, Keller. It's a flip stock. Hot dog. There you go. Hot dog. Hot dog for the uh, Pirates. You can just feel the difference. There you go. You guys see the difference right there? You can see it a mile away. It's a flip stock. You guys see it's glary. There you go. Nice hit. Hot dog for the, uh, I think uh, flip stocks are out of 10, right? There you go. We got a case hit too. My boy, Mitch Keller. So uh, that was the Pirates. Let me top load the Julio. Any Julio. We pulled a gold, true whole Julio gold. That's a six, $7,000 card last year on our first week of Bowman. So this guy. So Bowman is good. We hit Atomic Wander Franco out of uh, 100 as well. Autograph. We hit this guy, gold, true gold. That was, like I said, I just looked up the eBay comp on it. It's about seven to eight, about there. So kind of cool. We've had some uh, really big Otanis come out over the years. Krilop and a Madrigal. Cool flip stock. There you go. That's why we do, uh, why we check the backs. And that's, I like how they flipped them. Before, they didn't flip these guys. <laughs> it was uh, Joey Bart. It was just really, really hard. Really hard. And uh, all the guys for the uh, leaders always go to the top. So the Pirates on that Atuna one. So there you go. It's a fun one. That's why uh, minor leagues will do a divisional of it uh, the next couple days. I also want to do a cheap mixer. Um, uh, random, I want to do a five star 19 and a update, uh, hobby that way, uh, 19, we'll do a cheap, like it's like $10 or something, do something like that coming up. So or 13, whatever it is, uh, in the meantime, between all the Bowman stuff, uh, while the other stuff kind of gets going. So kind of what I have planned really, uh, not much, like I said, we're trying to wait on baseball right now. Kind of see how it goes. It's kind of uh, feeling out everything right now. Um, I'll have some really big news coming up this week. Uh, I'll have some cool stuff. Like I said, we're uh, back to normal pretty much on Friday. We're a big baseball breaking place. Uh, we do other sports as well. Football takes over at some point. Basketball was actually taking over at some point too. It's just the product is kind of high right now, but um, still, like I said, decent price. You can get a uh, big team for uh, 30 bucks. You know, we do some breaks at 10 bucks for full basketball. I'm going to try to do some $20 uh, divisionals for uh, what do you call it as well? Uh, basketball. So uh, you guys see kind of what I'm doing moving forward. Spanberger. We have a, another one of the uh, maker debuts. Uh, pretty sure you can't make your debut anymore. Jack Kelnick. We got a Kremer. Uh, is that a high number? Regular. Ryan Weathers. We got a, a Kibert. Kibert. That's a high number right there. You guys know that by heart right now. <laughs> uh, Hinklid. We have a Michael King deal. All swaggies. We got a Lux. Lux is uh, coming out in uh, Bowman. Nice. Uh, we got Nolan Gorman. Uh, let's see, Funkhauser, Savale, and a Jose Devers. Let's check the backs on these real quick if I missed anything. I like how the bubble actually shows it all, so you guys can see right away. The flip sock was easy because, like I said, they flipped it. Like it, like it, like it a lot. All right. Let's get that Lux. Gorman. At least just put them in sleeves for now, at least. The bigger guys. Joey Bartz. Lux is selling really well. It's good to see. Still. Still selling well. Still. Ruiz will do the uh, short print. Dodgers have a lot of love. We've got the Dodgers on the uh, mini. Call it, you guys, uh, after this box. Give me a quick shout out. Got to give a shout out to the Pirates. The White Sox. See where the autograph is. It's always the last row for whatever reason. Uh, I'm going to have our repack program. I'll announce pretty soon. I'm going to have a uh, recollection uh, repack. Uh, both are going to be pretty, pretty, pretty um, reasonable. Um, we're also going to have a portion of it going to um, COVID charity. So we'll figure out a way where a 5% uh, or something like that would be enough as a $30. So, uh, no, fortunately, I have to uh, hook you up with something. I was uh, saying it was you and Michael Welch, I think. So what I do is I usually leave a little couple cards on your next package. That's how I've been doing it for, uh, I think, Kevin was one. I got one recently. I think uh, Greg as well skunked out last time. So. Oh, I've been doing it for my uh, my boys helping me out filling. So anyone that uh, kind of misses out, I usually 
throw you next time, next package, is how I've been doing it. How I've been doing it over the last uh, couple of years, especially with our thing. So, no, thank you for your uh, love and support, man. I appreciate it. So, I got you. I know exactly who you collect, too. So, I, uh, I try to try, I try my best. It's hard. I don't, as you guys see, I don't like doing uh, minis. I don't like doing uh, big minis for like two teams or, you know, the 80%, you know, or 20% get in. I just don't like doing it. So, we got to try to find a way to combat it a little bit and fill breaks quicker. It's just, it's hard right now. Like I said, a lot of people aren't spending money on cards because, like I said, they don't have enough for the bills right now. So, We'll see how Bowman goes. It's gonna be really interesting to see. So, yeah, yeah, man. I uh, I got you next. Uh, I have I left a list. Um, even uh, another gentleman. Um, I've had uh, like I said, uh, some throw-ins here and there. We got an Alec Bomb. Like I said, just trying to keep this fun and like I said, not uh, you know, where you guys are like, man, screw this. I don't want to do this anymore. I just try to get the best value because some guys are like, hey. There's 20 cards for this. Everyone's paying $90 for a team. I don't care if you skunk or not. Just go forward. So it just, yeah, we'll never be like that ever, ever, ever. We got DJ Peters, Seth Beer. Look at one after another. There goes Strohs. It all goes to the team that he's pictured with. Uh, we got a Trang. Like I said, all big guys right there. Just checking to see if there's anything missing. There's a regular version of the Keller, Mackenzie Gore, Abreu, Keegan Thompson, and Ellie Sanchez. Yeah, like I said, it's... Uh, it's so what I got known for when I first started. That's why I became the main breaker on it. Nah, thank you. I appreciate you guys. Like I said, it's just uh, much love. Like I said, we make this fun. Uh, it's not a place where you just rage quit because, you know, <laughs> you didn't get any cards at all. Um, at eBay breaks are like that as well. If you, uh, you know, have nothing in your package, I try to at least throw in some stuff. So it just, uh, it's really hard to control what's in these products. Obviously, I have no control. We could hit a $1,000 card out of a $50 box or... You know, just the base, you know, it's, so I try it. Like I said, you'll see my actual repacks of what I think a product should be. So, um, I try, uh, so <laughs> I, uh, I've been in places like that though. And like I said, I spent, you know, $85 on a break team about three years ago on one of the biggest breaking, uh, companies on the planet and I didn't get anything. So it's, yeah, we, we definitely don't do that. I, uh, I try not to. Especially with the minis, it's just tough. I, I try to fill breaks as quick as possible, but there's uh, got to be a happy medium. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, we're going to do some more advertising. Uh, like I said, I've been advertising a lot lately. We've been getting a ton of members here. So um, my Instagram's already at 3,300. So really exciting things coming. So uh, check out this week. We're going to be doing really fun stuff. So the autograph should be in this row. I see it. it's blue. It should be blue. There it is. You guys see the blue? See the border right there? Here we go. We got a Ryan Mountcastle on top. Cheese. And here we go. Good luck, guys. First autograph on top. Let's see. Uh, we got a Ruiz. Here we go. We got a Casas. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Is it a blue? And it is a hot dog. Hot dog. Nice little hit. Grayson Genesta uh, color match. Genesta. Genesta is how you uh, say it. Very nice. Hot dog. And that is for the Braves. Very nice guy. Like I said, I got him talking to me at the Fall League this year. Very nice. Went out of his way to talk to me, sign for me, did tons of stuff. So. Shout out to Grayson. Talked to me every time he was on the on deck circle or if he was at the park. It's like, what's up, man? <laughs> Actually, literally shot the crap with me. So, rare to find nowadays. He's a big boy. I think he's like 6'4", right? 6'3". Talking about the uh, bomb great uh, Genesta connection. 6'4", yeah, 6'4", 2, uh, 10. There you go. Yeah, I love uh, Genesta. Genesta. Yeah, he's uh, brave all day. He is one, like I said, they uh, stopped and talked to me, hung out. Pretty cool. Genista. People always say his name wrong. It's Genista. Genista. <laughs> Same with Luis Robert. It's Luis Robert, guys. Just to let you guys. I've been seeing a lot of people call him Robert. People thought that was right off the bat. I thought it was for a little bit. It's actually not. So, Robert. Robert. Uh, Kevin Biggio, short print. There you go for the uh, 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 Blue Jays. Acevedo with Thunder. Six of Sanchez. We have a last hit. And it is a Dane Duning for the White Sox. There you go. Out of 99. We got White Sox. Blue. Ding dooning. White Sox. White Sox did pretty well so far. Let's get these uh, Gorman Biggio will be top loaded. Old school uh, kind of Jays look right there. Kind of cool. All right. We got pretty good stuff. Biggio. You got to see who got uh, the Braves today. We'll call you guys out right after this uh, rack. Nolan Gorman gets sleeved and dooning. We get top loaded. Uh, we got uh, Inception to go. We still got four boxes to go. 
But uh, I'm going to try to do some value with like some random mixers coming up. We'll do some uh, divisionals though going forward. Uh, kind of get some more people interested. Everything's shipping, so you guys get all these base. Yordan right here. So all the base, all the base, all the base. We've got the whole set. Almost Peter Lambert and Corey Ray to finish it out. All right. We hit a Yordan out of 25. The last uh, break out of eight boxes. Hit a uh, Vlad, a bit Bichette. Uh, who else? Senzel. A lot of uh, big guys, so. Let's see what uh, Inception holds for a four boxer. Do for Angel, do for a Met. Got a bunch of uh, Pirates last time. We already got Pirates flip stock today. We got a uh, Braves autographs. Braves are uh, pretty loaded in most products. That's why they're always a little bit more expensive, as you guys see. All right, let's call you guys out real quick. Take a little breather and move on my uh, highlight show. We got uh, da -da 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 -da, Jeremy with the uh, White Sox. Uh, let's see. Who else do I need to call? Chicago hit pretty well. Uh, Dodgers were uh, Manny. Dodgers. Uh, Braves were Kevin, as I was saying. Uh, let's see, Dodgers with Randy. Randy's been doing well lately. Greg had the Nats. I just saw a uh, caning in my head. Uh, let's see, uh, Pete had a Bart. Very nice stuff. Who got the Rays today? There you go, Kevin. Just all those wanders kind of add up a little bit. Um, anyone else? Jays. Uh, let's see, uh, Ken. There you go, like I said. And uh, all the base, as I said, they're going to be worth some money. Um, even the base cards. Pirates, Steven today, though, so. Uh, to call you out, get you ready. Uh, Jeremy with the Yankees, some pretty good stuff. I saw some uh, just calling guys out, saying hi. All right. Let's see, uh, Braun also got the St. Louis Cardinals with all the Gormans. So I'm going to do uh, minors tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll post up at some point. Uh, since it's got, we'll do, uh, I'm going to do a high tech and then a uh, minors on DSC tomorrow uh, whenever they fill. I'm not going to post too much more though because we got some other breaks we need to fill. So um, like I said, it's kind of sluggish right now, the uh, whole thing. So. As I said, I just sold a, uh, a pack of cards and had it canceled immediately. So it kind of just showed the <laughs> some, of, some of the hobby right now. So it's kind of just going on. Let's see how it goes. It's playing it by ear a little bit. It, it's definitely going to be a, a down year in the hobby a little bit. I see, you know, especially with the uncertainty going forward. So we have no miners going on right now. It's, it's wild times. I mean, it's a good thing, though. All of our uh, products are keeping up for our minor products. So all these guys have not really lost any value. Pretty good stuff. We got a Wander Franco and India for our top um, top uh, loaders. We got the uh, Reds today. See, the one thing I can see, there you go, Randy got his Reds. Um, the one thing I can say, it is keeping all of our prospect uh, product uh, cards up because there is no market on it because it's not moving. It's only going up because products are getting you know, bought out, uh, people are collecting, you know, tossing these aside, the Joey Adele's, the, you know, uh, Wander Franco's, Genesis, all those guys, so, kind of cool. I saw, um, you know, Julio stuff going through the roof, uh, Dominguez, even Harar Encarnacion, it's just really cool. Harar uh, actually shared all my stuff, talked to me, he actually uh, sent me a message uh, yesterday saying thank you, man, <laughs> for uh, the support, and, you know, and I, uh, that's pretty cool. So, uh, we got, uh, Braylon Marquez. Like I said, it's going to be a fun time. Uh, seeing all the new guys get collected, bought up and tucked away. It's already happened in first. I don't, I didn't really believe in the value of the Bowman first. It's because it was what, about $800 a box. It's just, yeah. And, uh, there wasn't, it wasn't really readily available to anyone. Again, like as usual, just kind of tough. Uh, the same algorithm as the last box. Unless we got Jared Kelnick this time though, instead of the, uh, just uh, kind of the same as you guys see. Mitchell White, sometimes a short print at the tech. Uh, Bobby Jellback, we had a, uh, uh, all the basic. Uh, Joey Bart's a little bit different look, at least. Little big guys. Another uh, top loader. Whoop. Jemai Jones, 22. Uh, Joey Bart, let's see. Anything different, regular. And uh, there you go. A, uh, a tuna. It goes out to uh, the top one, goes to the uh, Pirates. Pirates have a lot of hits in this. You'll have a nice little stack. Top load is Bart. Julio gets top loaded. All the big guys, of course, right away. Julio signed four times for me last time he was in town. So shout out to Julio. One of the hardest autographs to get right now. I can say Bart, I talked to him about probably 15 times. Didn't stop for me once, unfortunately. So sorry, Mr. Bart. Don't have a lot of love. <laughs> I actually stopped uh, collecting Bart a little bit just because of my uh, meetings with him at the park. So, it's kind of disappointing a little bit. Not going to lie. Not going to lie. <laughs> All right. Let's go. We have a, uh, see if we got any short prints. 
these uh, heritage are just there's just a lot to look for. That's why it takes a little bit. Uh, it's just like uh, we do a lot of uh, El Ginter. What just came out? The T206? Those just came out. I haven't really seen any autograph list or anything, so not really sure. But uh, Ginter should be fun this year. I saw that people are signing those right now. Um, they're actually, uh, I don't know who there's going to have this year for the main guys. We hit some uh, pretty nice stuff last year. We hit the uh, Randy Johnson slash uh, Ken Griffey duel out of that booklet. It's pretty fun. So, hit some nice stuff out of uh, packs last year. Uh, we hit pretty much uh, Vlad's and every single major product last year. So, do for a Robert. That's why I want to do some uh, uh, the pack programs. That way you guys can open your own packs and uh, get your uh, Julio's and those autographs in person. So, instead of, uh, well, we'll have different programs, like I said, coming up over the next uh, couple months. So, uh, we got Nico. There you go, Nico. Uh, high number, Nico. Uh, Michael King, DL Hall. Feel like we got a uh, case hit boxer here. Yeah, let's see. We got a uh, Augustine. There you go for the uh, Nats. I think that was Greg, right? Um, out of uh, fifteen, anytime you get. Like I said, I feel like there's a case hit boxer here. Fifth, uh, twelve out of fifteen. Anytime you get a low number, yeah, that's monster. Hot dog. So any any low number prospect, you just never know. You never know. The Horner, like I said, I feel it. Let's see, let's try to get a uh, a minted autograph or something. Like I said, with these uh, low numbers, he is uh, 96. Like I said, overall 275. There you go. It's because of rarity. Any heritage low number gets the, uh, yeah, <laughs> right away. All right, Nico Horner. Let's see about the Kelnicks. Kelnick uh, had uh, wisdom tooth surgery, so he uh, wasn't really talkative at the fall league this year. He had a lot of uh, injuries and stuff like that. I can't really fault him for not being too uh, fan slash, you know, too friendly. I get it. But everyone else, like I said, a lot of, uh, I can say most of the guys, Alec Baum was one of my favorite guys there. He uh, literally came over every single time for me. Seth Beer, Royce Lewis, really good guys. So. All right, let's go. Obviously, I'm not asking these guys for anything. They would literally come over and be like, you got something for me to sign? <laughs> That's so cool. And I was like, man, I don't really have anything. <laughs> just, uh, some guys are just really cool. All right, let's go. There it is. I meant it. There it is. I felt it shake around, so we'll do one more. I got to come up with a name for our new blog. Uh, like I said, I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. There's a mint it right there. I called it. Let's see if it's inked. Doesn't matter. We won. We got it mint it. There you go. Pretty well. There's an Alec Bomb on top. Uh, that's, uh, like I said, that's how we uh, do it. It's uh, in the air. Any? Did anyone say anything? Did anyone call a hit today? Where's my hit? Where's my hit, guys? Where's the uh, Where's the uh, call out? So, let's see. I think it's going to be Alec Thomas. Let's see. I think it's going to be a, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see, let's go. We got a Yordan. I feel like it's gonna be a Yordan or something. Let's see. Or a uh let's see, here it is. It is a Drew Waters, man. And the minted uh uh coin. Like I said, it's a, a nickel. There you go, Drew Waters. Another guy that I've been telling you guys to collect for the last year. Go oh, hot dog. All the Braves kids, and that's a 79 out of 99. Hot dog. It would have been funny if it was a 70, but still cool. Let's see, this should be a uh let's get this. Da, 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 da. So sick. I love these. Not autographed, but I called it. Still cool. Isn't that nice? I love these things. I love them. I love these. I wish it was uh, inked. We almost called it. We half called it. There you go. I can just feel it shaking around. <laughs> you can feel it kind of when it bounces a little bit. There you go. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. As I said, all top guys. I feel like something, a big autograph is going to come. Let's get a black autograph now. We got a Wander Franco on top. There you go, Wander Franco. Show it off, regular. All the top guys, so you get all the set. All the base guys is nice. Uh, they pretty much almost pay for your break. You get a gem mint 10 out of the bases. Um, you know, you're, you're looking at a 10 to 40, 50 dollar, 100 dollar card with some of the big time guys. So, Judge, his lowest card was selling for 40 dollars a pop when he blew up, if you guys remember. So, kind of put it in perspective a little bit. Seth Beer, he's gonna just uh, show him off. Pull the big, 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 big guys. Right away, Isbell's a big one. I love this. Like I said, it's a really good divisional product. Uh, kind of like I said, when things are kind of slow too, it kind of uh, it kind of revives stuff a little bit. I feel like breaks like this. This is a good way to breathe life back into baseball breaks a little bit sometimes. Just uh, 
Yeah. Well, you guys expect baseball to come back? I still don't even know, man, what's the way they're going. I uh, I just wish they keep a lot of this private because, I mean, a lot of guys are struggling right now with their, their own business and, you know, getting hours and stuff like that. We don't really have to hear about millionaires, you know, complaining about not getting, you know, millions when they already got like 30 million to their name or, you know, at least a million or two. Because a lot of them actually got a guaranteed contract already. That was a thing from the owners. They said, hey, we'll give you, you know, X amount of money if you guys don't really fight the thing coming up. So. Obviously, with Article 11 on a basic contract, they don't have to pay out anything if uh, uh, games are canceled anyway. So it, it's kind of a, I, I don't know, it's a, it's a really, I don't know, it's kind of a dumb thing to be arguing over right now, <laughs> I thought. I get it, I, you're guaranteed to be making that, but as I said, if you know Article 11, if you read a contract, if, uh, like I said, if something happens, say if a, a meteor hits downtown and, you know, you can't be... <laughs> Uh, you know, it's just, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, Dustin May, I said just checking for short prints. It's, uh, yeah, I just wish I kept that kind of private, especially during uh, where most businesses are almost shutting down right now. It looks like the autograph is almost in the last pack it's been looking like, right? It's almost in the same spot every time. So very consistent. Fado, we have a Plankington, Toro, uh, Jordan Adams. Yeah, so it looks like the last couple, we got Pache short print. Man, Braves, Braves. You guys let the Braves sit, too. That's how it usually goes. Team that sit usually kind of cleans up. There you go, Braves short print. So just showing it off, 207. My boy Pache, I've been saying I'll pick up as well. I actually had a whole segment about Drew Waters and Pache. You guys can actually go on here if you guys hit my blog. Um, there is a special, um, uh, what do you call it? There's a special um, format, or uh, not special format. These are all sticks. Did I grab the wrong ones? Oh, those are regular. Why am I thick all mixing? Hold on, guys. There you go. Um, as I was saying, uh, if you guys click, it actually says blog slash vlog. You guys can actually see all my old vlogs. You can actually see what we're talking about and everything. So pretty cool. You guys give you the next uh, big things. I've been talking about Drew Waters and Pache for a while. Pache uh, will have a job just on his defense alone. Get to see him in uh, Fall League 2018. So get to see him before he uh, took off pretty big. Him and Drew Waters are uh, pretty close, so we'll see if they keep them together or trade one for pitchers or something. We'll see. Not all minors uh, stay together, as you guys saw already with Brennan Malone. He uh, got shipped off. A couple other guys got shipped off. Will Wilson right away, already from this draft. A lot of basketball moving around, too. See anything? See, we're missing a couple cards right there. 17, Andy. Okay. We uh, should have the autograph. Always in the last. Always, always, always. All right, we're getting to it. We're ready for Inception, and we'll be done. Like I said, Inception's really quick, fast, and furious. As like I said, I'll have uh, more information and announcements next week on everything going on. Um, we're slowly opening up here in Arizona right now. Pretty much uh, the stay-at-home order has been lifted as of uh, midnight last night, so um, a lot of things are going to be very back to normal. So everything here will be back to normal on Monday, pretty much, I've been hearing. Um, aside from distancing and the guidelines on everything. So it's going to be an interesting time. Uh, sports are already allowed here. So we'll see. We have a uh, Alec Thomas hot dog. There you go. Boom. My boy. I like this guy a lot. Alec Thomas. I like the white too. Thank God. Last year was a nightmare with uh, minors. That's all I got to say. Absolute nightmare. Nice hits. We got a uh, Alec Thomas and a uh, Genista. Alec Thomas is one of my favorite prospects coming out. 333 already with... Uh, couple home runs like I said last year his father is a uh, strength training coach for uh like the White Sox right that was a mini all the minis minis are cleaning up so I said go get these teams teams are still available on a lot of breaks right now it's usually how it goes usually how it goes that was Trent Trent has been cleaning up lately too so quick shout out all right cool D-backs magic we got Casey Mice I still got a 2018 draft we can pick out a little bit. I got 19 draft up. We got some really fun stuff up. All right, let's get to Inception. Let's see. Uh, Libertor. Libertor, I haven't seen yet. He's a regular. Uh, he goes to the Rays, of course. Until uh, they change it all. Santana, Ronnie Mauricio. Uh, Christian Javier. Clark Schmidt. We have a flip. We got Willem Contreras for the uh, Braves, right? Man, like I said, the Braves. Cleaned up. Braves. There you go. As I said, I'll have a repack. I got a color match Braves as well. William Contreras. That was a whole Braves uh, minor league. Uh, 74 out of 99. Braves box right here. That's why I said the Braves are higher. They always are. They have just a ton of hits. 
Here we go. Another uh, Braves. Put them with the Dane Dooning. It looks like the Dane are in the same spot. You guys see that? Every single card was in the same spot. So when I do my pack program, you guys will literally see. I'll go live on uh, YouTube, and I'll pack them up right in front of you guys. So I'll just kind of kind of dance them out a little bit. Kind of, you know, uh, how you kind of do and uh, shake it. And uh, what I'll do is when I ship it out, I'm just going to hit random.org. And then just match them up by numbers. They're going to be sealed already. So there's no telling, um, you know, what really is in it. Because uh, it's just all, it'll be just basically random.org. So, and all that information will be up. Brady Singer, as I got. I knew there was a short print in there somewhere. Royals, there you go. That was Braun, right? All right. Thank you guys for grabbing your uh, favorite teams. As I said, you get all the base cards. That's why I do it. Inception's kind of tough. So I want you guys to at least get some uh, nice stars for your team with a chance at all the big time prospects. Pretty good so far with, uh, you know, some minted Drew Waters. And uh, we're going to put this down now. We're going to put all four boxes in front of us so you guys can see it all. Um, every single product is up right now. Cheap. We're going to start doing some uh, minis coming up. So this is Fast and Furious. You guys ready? You guys ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. Here we go. So uh, we'll flip it as we always do. Move this over. And uh, let's go. We'll uh, take this down. We'll uh, kind of get a uh, highlight show going. <laughs> we'll have a knockout more than likely because this is all autographs pretty much. So let's go, guys. Pretty uh, much the last of the Inception, pretty much. It's uh, pretty much dried up. Uh, we'll be doing Bowman uh, Select Baseball and uh, Tier 1 this month. Uh, that's what's going to be coming up. We already got Tribute High Number in Series 1, so a couple other cool breaks up. I'm just trying to get the best of the best of. Uh, we have football, basketball going right now. And then we'll have some cheap divisionals, some cheap uh, maybe box or two uh, mixers coming up. Here we go. Good luck, guys. It's uh, been pretty hardy. We get a uh, patch auto right off the bat, too, so good luck, guys. Here we go. Patch auto. Ready one. You get a patch auto. Looks uh, pretty nice. We'll cut uh, Verlander's on top. Kind of cover it so I don't see who it is. Kind of have it that way. We got an Aaron Judge. There you go. Judgey. We got a Javier Baez. We got an Orange coming up. Baez. Very nice stuff. We have an Eli Jimenez. Nice uh, pack right here. Our short print is a Javier Baez. And the Orange is a uh, Morgan. Mor there you go for the... Uh, Padres, 15 out of 50. Uh, the Verlander is covering up the patch auto. Go, get them all on the stand. We got Aaron Judge sleeved. These are all about five $20 cards. Sleeve, sleeve, sleeves. Uh, we're figuring out, I'm actually getting in touch with some places, so we'll figure out something at the end of the year. Right now, the uh, national, like I said, we kiboshed. We're not going to go next. Uh, we're not going to go just because it's uh, right before the holidays. Uh, we don't really know what's going on. There's just too much uncertainty to uh, book it all. I'm trying to book a uh, West Coast uh, show more so. Uh, I want to get in touch with a, a couple uh, vendors out here. Uh, we support a um, low cost uh, vaccine um, animal shelter, so I want them to be part of it. Uh, just a lot of stuff. So we got Coffee Partner. I'm actually going to put their logo in our setup pretty soon. Um, been meaning to do it. I was going to put the sticker on here, but it's kind of doing one thing at a time uh, once we get everything kind of rolled back up. So um, we'll do it. Here we go. We got a uh, Justin Verlander. Like I said, our uh, patch autograph is coming. For Verlander was covering it. Didn't want to unveil it. We have a uh, hit. I was talking about these guys. Here we go. And our hit is... It's a Patrick for Patrick. There you go. Nice three-color patch. Patrick Sandoval, what can you tell me about him, Patrick? 23 Jordan out of 155. Patrick Sandoval, there you go. Nice little hit, hot dog. Anytime you get a uh, patch auto, regardless, there you go. Patrick Sandoval. Oh, uh, let's see, I believe these are 180s. Let's see. Oh, that's a 130, it fits perfect. 130, beautiful, it fits like a glove. Beautiful cards, I love, love Inception. <laughs> There you go. We'll put him in the top spot. See if I uh, can knock him out. There you go. Isn't it nice? There you go. Finally got you one, man. <laughs> Hot dog. Thank you. As uh, I uh, said, uh, all you guys, Greg has been a partner with me for a while. Uh, we help each other advertise. Like I said, thank you, Patrick, for sharing my stuff. And uh, like I said, much love. I try to share as much as possible, especially if you own your own business. Like I said, doing something different, too. I try to champion some uh, stuff. So just, just fun times, you know. Help each other out, especially in uh, downtimes. It's uh, the way the world should be. There should be no enemies in this hobby. That's what we were having a discussion during the uh, Beckett Industry Summit. That everyone should be pretty much helping each other out in this industry. So, especially, uh, it's just not a lot of people doing this. We got another patch auto. Yeah, here we go. 
I love it. Here we go. We'll leave the card on top just to kind of cover it up. Uh, let's go to this. Going to leave the second card on top. And it's a uh, Ozzy L. Albies covering it up. Just so you guys don't see the logo right away. I didn't see it. I think I saw the logo. I didn't really see what it is. We had a Trent, uh, Trent Grissam for the uh, Padres. We had Joey Gallo. We have a Magenta coming up, or a Red, I mean. Should be at 75. Adbert. And we have Jesus Lazardo, 52 out of 75 for the uh, A's. There you go. And uh, we got a uh, Sam Hilliard for the Rockies. All right, we got an Ozzy Albies on top. So I said I don't want to give away the uh, surprise right away. But not bad. Two for two for Patch Autos. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad, I'd say, right? Patch autos, they're kind of tough. You have four per case, right? Let's see? Let's see, we got another patch auto, I believe, coming. I just kind of look quick. I don't want to ruin the surprise for myself. Let's leave these up real quick. This is fast, as you guys see, fast. Uh, I still got the tribute high number. I'm going to break that down tomorrow. Um, I also have uh, that uh, USA Pro Debut uh, mini. We'll make uh, me that down. So then I'll start posting up our stuff on Monday. Once I get a little bit more word on uh, how much I got uh, coming. So we got LBs, and here we go. Let's do the flip. The flip is a Jordan Yamamoto. Nice hit. One on 75. One, two, three. Three color patch. Uh, you guys know my story about Jordan Yamamoto from the Fall League? This is a Fall League break right now. This is funny. From 2018. Uh, this is beautiful. Man. Miami Vice right there. Sick. So it's funny. He actually looked at me. My buddy got his autograph signed. Um, he was actually just warming up, walking around, and um, I didn't get his autograph because I didn't know who he was, and still to this day, I regret it. <laughs> Sorry, Jordan. So, just a quick little funny story. I dogged Jordan. I, I didn't realize I didn't have anything on me. He looked at me, he's like, and I was like, I, I, <laughs> sorry, Jordan, but yeah, he's balls. He was on my, uh, he was on my fancy team last year, so just kind of funny. We got a Fall League 2018 kind of theme going on right now. He was the first ever guy I saw walking around with that um, New Jersey, so kind of cool. Uh, who got the Marlins today? What's up, Braun? What's up? Let's see. That was Steven. There you go, Steven. Steven does pretty well with us, too. What's up, Steven? Yankee fan. I'm going to go watch UFC tonight. So we got Fight Night. Uh, Alistair Overeem, one of my favorite uh, K1 uh, kickboxers slash MMA guys of all time. He is a Dutch, I forgot, he was a Dutch hammer, right? His name used to be, I think something like that. Still fighting, I think he's had about 60, 70 fights now. <laughs> Crazy, he's still fighting. So I think that's the main event tonight on ESPN, if anyone's interested. Not a real great card, but still some though. That's why I didn't really cover it. They're, uh, the fights aren't that great right now. They're all right. They're just kind of just getting people in there and just kind of doing what they can right now. So uh, here we go. We got a regular. Let's see, Let's see what we got. Some of the regulars are nasty too, so you never know. Uh, let's kind of cut this to autograph. We'll do the same thing, kind of leave the two. Kind of like this new setup. Jack Flaherty's going to uh, hold it. You never know. One time I did this, and we had a Boba Chet in my uh, rack right here. So you never know. We got a Rafael Devers. We have a Jesus Lazardo, uh, SN Diaz. We have a uh, Abraham Toro, 32 out of 150, and a Eloy Jimenez, SP. All right. We got a regular. Flaherty's showing it off. As I said, I'm not going to do too much more Inception unless it's going to be a mixer. Just because it's uh, getting really uh, limited right now. I pretty much cleaned out the rest of it. Um, pretty much cleaned out everything pretty much. So kind of running on uh, fumes right now with product right now until uh, next week. So it's, it's actually a blessing that we're getting a little bit more. Want to save a little bit for when baseball comes back at some point. And our autograph is an S on Diaz. Nice hit for the Marlins. Marlins. Uh, Jack Flaherty. There you go. We got a uh, 245. This is how Inception can be sometimes. So as I said. Uh, we got, what, about three Pirates, one break from it. But we did get some patches, which is nice. I had a full eight box before and not got patches because a whole had one other break one time. Had all patches before. It's just how Inception can be sometimes, you guys know. We got uh, two. Let's see. Last hit. Let's see. Last hit. This is the only Inception that I had, like I said. been severely limited. I was like, hey, what do you got? He's got, I got four boxes. That's it. So this is the rest from the warehouse. It's been super limited. We've been kind of scooping up eight boxes at a time. We've been doing pretty well for the most part, as you guys have been seeing. So, see what the last hit's going to be. Not bad, not bad, though. Uh, here we go. We got a uh, regular autograph to finish it out. So let's try to get a big bopper for the last one. Let's go. Let's go cover it up. Let's go. And uh, let's go. Good luck, guys. Pretty good one. We got, it's been pretty much a fall-y kind of uh, theme. I like it. Uh, we got a Polly Goldschmidt and his Powder Blues. We have a Christian Yelich. Uh, we have Freddie Freeman. And our Magenta is a show. Hey, nice hit right there. Nine out of 99. Get about 20 bucks for that alone. 
All right, let's get to the autograph and see who it was. Shohei will go with the Lazardo. Nice magenta Shohei. Freddie Freeman. A lot of Braves. Braves did uh, well. That's why I was saying I, uh, the Braves have to be a little bit more. Obviously, the Angels checklist. So it's pretty well rounded. I like doing the minors. Uh, that way, you get the best of all worlds. So, all right, let's go. Yamamoto. Only right to show it off. And the last hit is going to be a hey, Kasten. Hot dog. There you go. 245. Nice break. Nice break. Nice break. Can't really complain out of a uh, six boxer. Look at that. Hot dog. Hot dog. 245. One of my favorite. I think he could be in the hall someday. Dude just has that consistent goodness. So, there you go. As I said, the, uh, the regular autographs are pretty solid, too. So uh, thank you guys, like I said, for filling this. Like I said, uh, it's going to be a little bit slower with some of the older products. Just kind of going forward to let you guys know. You guys know everything that's going on. So uh, just be patient. Like I said, I'm trying my best. I'm going to uh, mini uh, the rest of the baseball. Try my best to do that right now. Everything else is up right now, pretty much mini. So um, we got cheap basketball up right now. Football is up, still filling all football. So football's kind of still sluggish a little bit, still uh, getting there. But uh, right now, basketball and baseball are kings. Like I said, they're uh, flying right now. So show off all these guys. Get them all sleeved up. Thank you, guys. Like I said, uh, go fill all everything. Everything's going to be scheduled 24 hours. Um, the new stuff I'll try to break on time. Uh, we'll kind of schedule it uh, Friday, some of the new stuff. So um, and planning on trying to do a half case of Bowman just because of price point. It's looking at about like $400 a jumbo right now uh, just because how limited it is. It's sold out pretty much everywhere already just to let you guys know. So. I'm not sure exactly. Uh, my vendor said uh, let him uh, to get. Uh, he's gonna get back to me on Monday, pretty much to let me know how much I'm getting. So uh, we'll go from there. Um, I should have a whole bunch of Bowman though. Um, we'll have a select, at least a half case of select. I'm kind of just doing about half to about a case and max of Panini non-logo stuff right now until I get a storefront. We'll do a little bit more then though. Uh, just kind of feel it out going forward. So. Uh, Jack Flaherty, we have a uh, Hader, uh, Yelich, uh, Yamamoto, we have Freddie Freeman, uh, Polly Goldschmidt, Albies, uh, Trent Grissom, Joey Gallo, uh, Ad Burtz, uh, we had Sam Hilliard, Short Prince, Verlanders, uh, Baez, Eloy Jimenez, we had uh, Baez again, uh, Aaron Judge, show off uh, all the everything shipping. Uh, there we go. Uh, let's see, let's get uh, some of the miners to show off everything. Like I said, very nasty stuff. Uh, here you go. We got Casey Mize, Wanders, Gormans, Bumps. For anyone who hasn't seen Miners yet, and I said, I'm very excited to uh, do some pack programs because these will be in it because I can give a lot of them out. So I don't think I'd be mad at all getting a USA pack or a um, minor league pack, especially on uh, a uh, charity cause too. So we'll, we'll have something coming up with uh, charity cause slash. Um, repacks, two repacks. We'll have a singles repack. Um, that way you get a shot at, say, this, you know, for $30. How we've been doing it, or 35 you know. Plus, you know, all the chases that we have. You guys have been part of my chaser programs before. So uh, my last recollection was, I think, $20. I had a Acuna autograph, a Glaber autograph, um, a Mickey Moniac autograph. It had ridiculous stuff in it, and no one really complained. <laughs> uh, we had a, uh, out of 50, Mordon. Uh, some wanders all around so I have wander autographs kind of tucked I had a Robert I just gave away for our party so as you guys know I tried to tuck the chaser guys you know or even if I can PSA a um, in-person autograph that I can use for uh, what do you call it uh, donations so we'll figure it out uh, Julio like I said was very nice and signed some stuff for me so uh, just to get a PSA and same thing so so way to do it, I'm going to do like a, uh, you know, three, four dollars of every kind of champion. Uh, my buddies, like I said, help them. We, uh, we've been talking about it all together for about a month now uh, when the COVID situation all happened. Um, so want to help give stuff back for charity. We got a, a Lux and a Bart. Uh, we'll see about having a show. I'm trying to get a show lined up uh, this fall. Ready? Uh, the uh, wheels rolling on that. So all coming together. I'll uh, have more information. I'm not going to disclose everything out yet since... Don't want the cat to be out the bag yet. So, but this week is going to start a lot of cool changes going forward. So, uh, we got a uh, William Contreras ninety nine. We got a uh, Dane Duding. Uh, we got ninety nine twenty one on ninety nine for the White Sox. There you go, White Sox. Uh, we had a uh, Brady Singer. So I said I can't wait to do the uh, repacks. Repacks are awesome. So I said I got a lot of nasty stuff. Christian Pache. We had a Wander Franco. 
uh, Nico Horner. We have uh, Joey Bart. Those are all short prints right there. Our top, top stars that don't really have much ink right now or uh, uh, cards at all. So big time stuff. We even had box tops who were really nice. We had the top guys in baseball, uh, Jonathan India and a uh, Wonder Franco. Very nice. They'll both be uh, top loaded in a little bit. Um, our autographs, let's get them together. We got Mint it, kind of get our highlight show together. Shohei uh, action. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Our patch autos. Alec Thomas, very nice stuff. A low numbered. We got a nice stuff. Flip stock. Very nice. Uh, Tim Tebow. This sells very well. Let's show it off. My uh, One of my cousins. Uh, we got uh, Augustine out of 15. Never lose on that. Look at that. Fit. Ha, 12 out of 15. This low number heritage are very, very hard if you guys know. Very, 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 very hard. There you go. So I still got um, maybe some, uh, maybe I'll do some heritage packs too in our uh, recollect program. I got some Gypsy 18. So you could get a Shoei Itani. Very nice stuff. Uh, Shoei Itani, a 9 out of 99. Hot dog. We had a Jesus Lazardo, 52 out of 75. So I'm excited about our programs coming up. I'll have some more information. I already talked to my distributor and he's all on board for it. It's going to help me as much as possible, even with the uh, packaging. So uh, we got Dylan Cease. There you go, hot dog for the uh, White Sox. We had a Mitch Keller hot dog. Uh, this is a uh, flip stock hot dog. It's a case hit. We had another case hit, Drew Waters, mint it. And this was out of uh, 99. Nice hot dog. So very excited for everything moving forward. I'm going to have storefront in the next year or two. So you guys can come uh, hang out, open packs with me. Uh, buy some singles off me. I always had uh, singles floating around. So no particular orders. I'm going to show off the patch autos last just because they're patch autos. Uh, we had an S and Diaz out of there you go out of 245. There you go, hot dog for the Marlins. No particular order. Really good player right there. Let's be seeing him a little bit. Um, we had a uh, Jason uh, Grayson Genista. There you go, nice hit. A 14 uh, 10 out of 99. Sorry, Grayson. Uh, give him a shout out. Very nice to me at the ballpark. So we had an Alec Thomas hot dog. Another big time bat coming up. Uh, we had a Keston hot dog 245. There you go, hot dog. Very nice. Very nice. Love it. Uh, well, then we had uh, no particular order. Uh, we had a Patrick Sandoval out of uh, 23 out of 150. Hot dog. Always good when you get some uh, patch autos. And then we had uh, Jordan Yamamoto. Very nasty patch. Hot dog. Nice stuff. I like to see the big names coming out. Said uh, very nice stuff when you get some patches. And very nice. I like the Miami Vice color of the uh, all the Miami stuff coming out. One out of 75. Hot dogs. So like I said, I'll have our uh, pack program coming up. A uh, couple cool stuff coming up next week. Uh, we're going to cover AEW Double or Nothing since I was supposed to be in Vegas next Saturday at it. Uh, we obviously can't do much with the crowd uh, getting uh, shut off pretty much. Uh, but that's what's coming out. I'm going to have this mixer in between the Bowman uh, Select Magnus. That's going to be a five-star and a series. A cheap little mixer just to get kind of uh, everyone back on the saddle. I'm going to have uh, two uh, cheap uh, minis. Or um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, what do you call it? Divisional, sorry, of both products right there coming up too. So that's what's coming up. Everything's up. Every product is uh, pretty much broken down for minis. If not, they will be up tomorrow for minis. Um, uh, but yeah, we got uh, basketball, football, baseball. So uh, join us up. Like I said, it's going to be a fun time. So we'll see you guys soon. Um, we got Pro Debut at USA Stars and Stripes. Uh, put that up. That's going to be a mini tomorrow. So we got, uh, what, nine hits in that, 10 hits, something like that. So. Uh, so fun stuff. Uh, so we can see you guys soon. Spencer Torgelson, a lot of big guys in that. Uh, the draft is uh, less than a month away, so we'll have some cool draft stuff as well. So uh, see you guys soon. Let's have some fun this summer. Uh, hot dog and hot dog.